हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाय गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू आवर चैनल द वॉइस ऑफ नर्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ए न्यू सब्जेक्ट फ्रॉम द नर्सिंग द सब्जेक्ट नेम इज माइक्रोबायोलॉजी इन टुडे क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस माइक्रोबायोलॉजी रिलेटेड टू द एफ ए क्यूज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस एंड रिलेटेड टू द माइक्रोबायोलॉजी introduction and related to the important points related to the microbiology we are going to discuss now before today's class i have to give a brief explanation related to the previous videos to my dear viewers till now we finished the subjects almost subject we already covered the subjects covered subjects to was nutrition midwifery and gynecology anatomy and physiology nursing foundation medical surgical nursing and mental health nursing first aid and child health nursing these many subjects we already finished in previous videos and also along with these subjects we additionally completed model paper related to the mhsrb previous years model paper and nhm 2022 two sets 200 questions with explanation and in recent nhm 2023 january recent question paper also with explanation already we finished these many subject we already finished today we are going to start a microbiology subject from the nursing point of view we are going to discuss today along with introduction of the microbiology before moving on to topic a small request friends anybody watching first time my channel please subscribe my channel click on the bell icon for further notification and please give your opinion in comment section give a like and share the video to your friends let's move on to topic today we are going to start a microbiology point of view 20 questions along with introduction of the microbiology microbiology point of view we are going to discuss introduction definition what is microorganisms type of microorganisms what is infection and its transmission and immunity and types of immunity what is microbiology who is father of microbiology father of antiseptic surgery and sterilization techniques introduced by we will see now first who is father of microbiology means antony van leeuwen hoek he is father of microbiology father of antiseptic surgery father of antiseptic surgery is joseph lister he is father of antiseptic surgery and the sterilization techniques introduced by who introduced sterilization techniques means louis patcher introduced sterilization techniques here father of microbiology means luke hook He is universally acknowledged as the father of microbiology. He discovered both protist and bacteria more than being first to see this unimagined world. So he is father of microbiology. But Louis Pasteur also father of microbiology. But he is French biologist who often regarded as the father of modern. microbiology don't confuse here friends father of microbiology is leuwen hook modern means the father of modern microbiology means louis patcher will come automatically next we will see microbiology definition microbiology is the study of biology of microscopic organisms microbiology means study of the biology of microscopic organisms the microorganisms like viruses bacteria algae fungi slimy molds and protozoa these all are the microorganisms we can study in the microbiology study of the biology of microscopic organisms these all are the microorganisms we can see through the microscope only in the study of microbiology 
now we will see further introduction related to the microbiology the methods used to study and manipulate these minute and mostly unicellular organisms differ from those used in most other biological investigations not only microscopic examination through the other methods also we can investigate the biological organisms like mostly unicellular organisms differ from those used most other biological investigations this is microbiology next we will see the types of microbiology there are various different branches of microbiology and this includes the following types of microbiology actually we are having three types of microbiology those are bacteriology mycology protozoology these are the main microbiology types next we will see one by one what is the types of microbiology not only these three types additionally also is there phycology this is also one of the type of microbiology bacteriology mycology protozoology along with one more type of the microbiology that is phycology now we will see one by one what is this bacteriology the first type of microbiology here we are seeing three types of microbiology bacteriology means deals with study of bacteria is called as bacteriology second one is mycology what is mycology means the deals with study of fungi is called as mycology third one is protozoology protozoology is deals with the study of protozoa is called as protozoology these all are the types of microbiology additionally in previous peak we already seen phycology what is phycology phycology is also called as allergology the study of algae a large heterogeneous group of chiefly aquatic plants ranging in size from the microscopic forms to species as large as or trees this is called as phycology next we will see what is microorganisms related to the microorganisms we will discuss now microorganisms means ये माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म मींस ये माइक्रोस्कोपिक ऑर्गेनिज्म स्पेशली ये बैक्टीरिया वायरस आर फंगस माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म मींस दैट कैन बी सीन ओनली थ्रू द माइक्रोस्कोप इज कॉल्ड एज माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म ऑल थ्रू वायरसेस आर नॉट कंसीडर लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म्स दे आर समटाइम्स क्लासिफाइड एज माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म्स so here microorganisms means microorganisms means those we are can seen in through the using while using of microscope only is called as microorganism the microorganisms like especially bacteria virus or fungus these all are the microorganisms and microorganisms or the major groups of microorganisms namely bacteria archaea protozoa and viruses these all are the microorganism groups major groups of microorganisms these all are the major groups of microorganism let's look each one in more details about organisms in our further classes related to the faqs and very very important question in mean that question in between we will get all the microorganisms we will discuss in detail about in the faqs now we will see infection and its transmission what is means infection infection is a process of infecting or the state of being infected so now we will see infection and transmission infectious disease is commonly spread through the direct transfer of bacteria viruses or other germs from one person to another person is called as transmission means infection transmission now we will see the mode of transmission mode of transmission will be direct transmission or direct contact with infected person droplet spread direct contact and indirect contacts airborne vehicle borne vector borne these all are the 
mode of transmission of infection and also the mode of transmission can include direct contact droplets a vector such as a mosquito a vehicle such as a food or airborne route these all are the direct droplets spread direct contact and direct airborne vehicle borne vector borne mode of transmission of the disease or infection related to the mode of transmission also we will get a faqs and questions in the further classes next we will see the what is immunity and immunity types immunity the immune systems way of protecting the body against an infectious disease this is called as immunity immunity means immune system way of protecting the body against an infectious disease next what are the types of immunity you are having the immunity types or we are having four types of immunity the immunity types are active natural immunity active artificial immunity passive natural immunity and passive artificial immunity these all are the four types of immunity till now we finished introduction definition what is the microorganisms infection and types of microorganism what are the infection and its transmission and also immunity and immunity types we discussed now we are going to discuss faqs very very important question related to the microbiology the first question urease test is positive in what is urease test urease test is positive in which of the following options option a klebsiella option b proteus option c nocardia option d all of the above what is urease test urease test is also called as Clo Campylo Bacter like organism test. It is a organism test. It is a rapid diagnostic test for diagnosis of Helicobacter pylori. The basis of this test is the ability of H pylori to secrete the urease enzyme, which catalyzes the conversion of urea to ammonia and carbon dioxide this will result in increased urine ph the microorganisms includes proteus nocardia ureoplasma and helicobacter pylori klebsiella cryptococcus and staphylococcus rapid urease positive organisms turn the entire medium pink within the 24 hours of the period so here the urease test is positive in the case of klebsiella and option b proteus so here option c a and b is the correct answer here next we will move on to question number 2 ultraviolet uv light means ultraviolet light is strongly absorbed by which in a cell the ultraviolet light is strongly absorbed in the cell we will see here options option a cell wall option b ribosomes option c dna option d myoplasm the phenomena of uv absorbance increasing as dna is dematured is known as a hyperchronic shift uv ye yeah, radiation has poor efficiency in inducing dna damage because it is not absorbed by negative dna double stranded dna absorbs less strongly than denatured dna due to the staking interaction between the bases so ultraviolet light is strongly absorbed by dna in cell so here option c is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 3 all microorganisms are we will see here options option a form spores option b protoplasm consisting of protein option c having a waxy coating option d all of the above here microorganisms are included bacteria protozoa algae and fungi altro viruses are not considered living microorganisms they are sometimes classified as microorganisms microorganisms not includes viruses prions because non living protoplasm consisting of 
protein made up of a mixture of small molecules like icons amino acids monosaturates and water nucleic acid proteins lipids and polysaturates so here the all microorganisms are protoplasm consisting of protein so here option b is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 4 inaculating inaculating loop is sterilized by we will see here option option a hot air oven option b radiation option c flaming option d autoclave inaculating loop is sterilized by passing a an angle through the flame of a gas burner until the entire length of the wire becomes orange from the heat in this way all contaminants on the wire are incinerated while doing this process prevent contamination of the bench surface should be done so never lay the loop down once it is sterilized or it may again become contaminated so here inaculating loop is sterilized by the flaming so here in this option option c flaming is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 5 multi stage sampling is also known as what is the multi stage sampling multi stage sampling is also known as we will see now options before that we will see options option a stratified sampling option b cluster sampling option c random sampling option d none of the above what is multi stage sampling multi stage sampling is often consider an extended version of cluster sampling in multi stage sampling we can divide the population into a cluster sampling and select some clusters at the first stage here here multi stage means we can divide people into the multi, multi stage sampling means we can divide the people into the groups this is also called as cluster sampling here you draw a sample from population using smaller and smaller groups at each stage this method is often used to the collection data from large geographically spread group of people in national surveys for example for the cluster sampling can divide according to age groups also we can divide for example age group so here multi stage sampling is also known as cluster sampling so here in this option option b is the correct answer cluster sampling also called as multi stage sampling next we will move on to question number 6 HIV virus belongs to which of the following group HIV virus is belongs to which group from the following we will see here options option a flavi virus option b hepatna virus option c retrovirus option d rhino virus what are the these options we will see one by one flavi virus what is flavi virus flavi virus is a genus of positive standard rna viruses in the family of flaviridae dengue virus encephalitis virus yellow fever zika virus these all are the conditions comes under the flavi virus through the flavi virus what is hepatna virus hepatna virus its best known member is hepatitis b virus disease associated with the family includes liver infections hepatitis b so hepatovirus is hepatitis virus and hepatitis b diseases next we will see option c retrovirus retrovirus is that causes aids the human immunodeficiency virus means hiv is the type of retrovirus so here the hiv virus belongs to which of the following group means the group was retrovirus group so here option c is the correct answer what is rhinovirus rhinovirus is the most common viral infection agent in humans and is the predominant common cause of the common cold but 
here in this hiv virus belongs to retrovirus option c is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 7 asbestos is chemically composed of asbestos is is chemically composed of we will see here options option a magnesium chloride option b magnesium silicate option c mercuric sulfate option d none of the above asbestos asbestos is the name given to the group of naturally occurring fibrous minerals that are resistant to heat and corrosion asbestos a group of fibers composed of hydrated magnesium silicates used in many different industries is associated with number of diseases in the thoracic cavity respiratory infections lung cancer and asbestos so here asbestos is chemically composed of magnesium silicate so here in this options option b magnesium silicate is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 8 trichomonal infection is caused by what is trichomonal infection trichomonal infection is caused by we will see here options option a yeast option b fungus option c protozoa option d virus trichomonal infection is also called as trich t r i c h trichomonal infection is also called as trich ये सेक्सुअली ट्रांसमिटेड इन्फेक्शन कॉज्ड बाय ये पैरासाइट ये वेरी कॉमन सेक्सुअली ट्रांसमिटेड डिसीज कॉज्ड बाय इन्फेक्शन विथ ट्रिकोमास वजिनालिस और प्रोटोजोवा पैरासाइट रिस्क फैक्टर्स इंक्लूड मल्टीपल सेक्सुअल पार्टनर्स एंड नॉट यूजिंग कंडोम्स ड्यूरिंग द सेक्स इट इज़ ए सेक्सुअली ट्रांसमिटेड डिसीज बाय द प्रोटोजोवन पैरासाइट so here the trichomonal infection is caused by option c protozoa is the correct answer here next we will move on to question number 9 a unit of inheritance found on chromosomes is termed as means a unit of inheritance found on chromosomes this is known as we will see here options first option a gene option b agent option c unit option d fusion the basic unit of heredity passed from parent to child genes or made up of dna a gene is the basic physical and functional unit of heredity the genetic information of a cell is passed on to the generation via chromosomes Initially the term gene was coined to denote an abstract unit of inheritance to which no specific material attributes were assigned so here a unit of inheritance found on chromosomes is termed as gene so here in this options option a is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 10 which of the following method to diagnose aids in the following methods which we can which while using the which method we can diagnose the aids we will see here options first option a western blot test option b elisa test option c radio immuno precipitation assay option d all of the above what is western blot test we will see first western blot test is also known as western blot assay a western blot test is typically used to confirm a hiv diagnosis during the test a small blood sample of blood taken and used to detect hiv antibodies is present or not in the blood we can go through the western blot test next option b what is elisa test what is elisa e l i s a elisa which stands enzyme linked immunosorbent assay elisa means enzyme linked immunosorbent assay 
Yelisa test is used to detect HIV. If HIV is positive, next test we have to go for the Western blot assay. So, ELISA test, Western blot test, both are the methods to diagnose AIDS. Next option C, radio immuno precipitation assay. What is radio immuno precipitation assay? It is also called as RIP. A RIP assay was developed to detect antibodies to the envelope glycoprotein GP120 of the human immunodeficiency virus means HIV-1. So here in these options all of the above is the correct answer. These three methods not only these three methods actually we are having so many methods to diagnose HIV or AIDS but here in this options option A, B, C, D is the correct answer all of the above is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 11 cell wall synthesis can be inhibited by the cell wall synthesis can be inhibited by we will see here options option A penicillin option B vancomycin option C bleomycin option D all of the above the cell wall synthesis can be inhibited by five inhibitors significant glycopeptide antibiotics includes vancomycin ticoplanin televancin ramoplanin bleomycin and decamplin cell wall synthesis inhibitors are the beta lactam antibiotics cell wall synthesis inhibitors are called as beta lactam antibiotics cell wall synthesis can be inhibited by penicillin vancomycin ticoplanin bleomycin and televancin ramoplanin so here in these options all of the above is the correct answer penicillin vancomycin bleomycin is there in these options so here Option D is the correct answer. Next, we will move on to question number 12. Coplic spots are seen in the coplic spots are seen in which of the condition? We will see here options. Option A, rubella. Option B, malaria. Option C, tetanus. Option D, smallpox. Clopic spots are seen in with measles. The clopic spots we can see in the condition of measles. In this options, option A rubella is also called as measles. Clopic spots are the peculiar spots present on the buccal mucosa and are considered a diagnostic or pathogenic features of measles or rubella in the pre-eruptive stage coplic spot seen two to three days after symptoms begins the symptoms like tiny white spots may appear inside of the mouth in two to three days after symptoms will begin rashes fever cough and localized weakness here the coplic spots are seen in this rubella option a is the correct answer here next we will move on to question number 13 which of the following microorganisms has not been linked to uti means urinary tract infection which of the following microorganisms are not linked means not included to the urinary tract infections we will see first options option a e coli option b Hemophilus option C, Klebsiella option D, Pox virus. Urinary tract infection are common infections that happen when bacteria often from the skin or rectum, urethra and infect the urinary tract. Urinary tract infection develop when microbes enter the urinary tract and cause infection. Bacteria are the most common cause of urinary tract infection. Although fungi rarely can also infect the urinary tract. Here E. coli is the most common cause for the urinary tract infections and Klebsiella also 
one of the cause for the urinary tract infection pox virus also cause for the gi tract and urinary tract infection but hemophilus is the except what is hemophilus hemophilus influenza disease is a name for any illness caused by bacteria is called as hemophilus influenza what are the conditions will comes under the hemophilus influenza is some of these illnesses like ear infections blood stream infection are most common in this hemophilus influenza cases so here which of the following microorganism has not been linked to urinary tract infection is option b hemophilus is the correct answer here next we will move on to question number 14 almost all bacteria is in the shape so the bacteria shape will be options option a closed circle option b open circle option c linear chromosomes option d none of the above most bacteria have a haploid genome a single chromosome consisting of a circular double stranded dna molecule some bacteria are round some are bacteria rod shaped bacteria and some have very unusual shapes but most common bacteria shape will be circle shape so here option a closed circle is the correct answer almost all bacteria is in the shape of circle and or round shaped so here closed circle is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 15 which of the following immunoglobulins can cross the placenta from the options which immunoglobulin can cross the placenta we will see here first options option a immunoglobulin a option b immunoglobulin e option c immunoglobulin g and option d immunoglobulin m immunoglobulin g is the only antibody class that significantly crosses the human placenta because immunoglobulin g all through it has high molecular weight is the only class of immunoglobulins able to cross the placenta and reach to the fetal circulation so which of the following immunoglobulins can cross the placenta means one and only immunoglobulin g can cross the placenta and reach the fetal circulation so here in this options option c is the correct answer immunoglobulin g next we will move on to question number 16 which of the following common type of nosocomial infection which of the following is a common type of infection type in the nosocomial infection we will see here options option a cellulitis option b urinary tract infection option c thrombophlebitis option d meningitis what is nosocomial infection nosocomial infection or infections that develop while a person is receiving medical attention or medical care that was not present during the time of admission this is called as nosocomial infection hospital acquired infection and nosocomial infection during the hospital stay most common type of nosocomial infection is urinary tract infection pathogens spread through an individual's perineum and contaminated urinary catheter can leads to the urinary tract infections not only urinary tract infection additionally i will give briefly related to the nosocomial infections hospital acquired infections like klebsi central line associated blood stream infection and cauti c a u t i cauti means catheter associated urinary tract infections h a p hap means hospital acquired pneumonia or v a p ventilator associated pneumonia and s s i 
skin and soft tissue infection and also some of the cases surgical site infection also most common hospital acquired infections but in this options which of the following common type of nosocomial infection means urinary tract infection option b is the correct answer here next we will move on to question number 17 mitochondrial dna is inherited from we will see here options option a mother only option b father only option c a and b option d none of the above mitochondrial dna located in the cytoplasm mitochondria are the site of the cells energy production and other metabolic functions offspring inherited mitochondria and as a result of mitochondrial dna from mother but researchers identify unique cases in the which people mitochondrial dna inherited mother but also from the father also so here mitochondrial dna is inherited from the mother and father also so here in this options option c a and b both mother and father is the correct answer but in the researchers recently identify unique cases in the people mitochondrial dna inherited is mother and father in previously it is mitochondrial dna inherited from the father only here but recent researchers recent studies is showing father and mother both is having mitochondrial dna is inherited from the mother and father next we will move on to question number 18 wells and springs constitute of the wells and springs are constitute of options option a ground water option b atmosphere water option c only rain water option d surface water water in springs seeps and wells generally originates as rainfall that has soaked into the soil and prelocated into underlying rocks wells and springs constituted ground water a springs is a natural outflow of water from an underground supply to the ground surface so here wells and springs is constitute of ground water so here option a ground water is a correct answer here next we will move on to question number 19 a person is infected by direct contact with infected person it is known as a person is infected by direct contact with infected person it is known as we will see here options option a indirect transmission option b droplet transmission option c direct transmission and option d none of the above some infections can spread by direct contact with the infected area to the another person body or via contact with a contaminated surface example of direct contact is touching kissing sexual contact contact with oral secretions or contact with body lesions a person is infected by direct contact with the infected person is called as direct transmission so here in this options option c direct transmission is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 20 usol is used for usol is used for what is usol usol is used for we will see now options option a to stop nose bleeding option b prevent jaundice option c dressing option d all of the above usol means e u s o l the abbreviation of e u s o l is edinburgh university solution of lime edinburgh university solution of lime usual solution is indicated for wound disinfections 
cleaning ulcers and wet dressing it is used as an antiseptic agent and prevents the growth of fungi bacteria and viruses the composition of the usol is calcium hypochlorite containing not less than 0.25 percentage of available chlorine buffered with boric acid to the a ph of 7.5 to 8.5 so here usol is used to a dressing so here in this options option c is the correct answer dressing uso usol usol is used for the dressing the 20 question is the last question in this video and from the 21 question we will discuss in further class till now we already finished the subject i already mentioned in the playlist please check it once friends already mentioned in playlist this is the part 1 related to the microbiology introduction definition types of microbiology and infection mode of transmission and types of immunity immunity and types of immunity these all are we discussed in this today's class next further questions from the 21 we will discuss in part 2 video thank you so much for watching here anybody watching first time my channel please subscribe my channel click on the bell icon for further notification and like the video i please share your opinion in comment section please subscribe my channel click on the bell icon and give a like and share the video to your friends keep watching friends stay tuned